and show everyone how to do a two unit cross match. I already have my sample on my two unit look. It doesn't have to be in the same rack. And here's two more examples. I already I put two sags in here. Martha recommends two. It didn't work with one I tried. It can be a little label, you just have to use a smaller label. You're gonna have to make sure and position it real real nice with the right angle. So you're gonna wait till the machine recognizes it. number, whichever number is the L number, and click create order. Click on profile, cross match, and you're going to go down here, add donor samples, and it adds donor one. I want two donor samples because I have two units on here. I'm going to add it again going to add me a second one. So I'm going to click up here so I can give you the donor number of the first. Obviously I don't remember the W number that I loaded, so I'm going to hit list and it's going to give me the options of what's on board. So the W numbers are my units, the L number is my sample. I'm going to click here and you have to go back over here on the left and select centrifuge blood. It's really pack cells, but pack cells doesn't work. I don't have to ask for the why. You have to you have to say centrifuge blood. And then same thing with donor number two, centrifuge blood. And then you're gonna hit save and start. It's mad because I don't have the cards on board or the diluent, so. And then it'll just start. You don't wanna add anything to the segs. It's just two segs shot into a glass tube with the label on. Thank you. Please make sure and print your results.